welcome one and welcome all. Welcome back to the Breakthrough You podcast. I'm your host, Coach Molly from Three Pines Leadership. Thank you for spending this part of your day with me. (laughs) For those of you who are new, welcome to the Breakthrough You podcast. For those of you who are veterans, welcome back. (laughs) This week, we're going to dive into another incremental easy to follow activity that if you start building these into your daily routines, you're going to see massive change in your life. Massive change. So what I invite you to do is first figure out what your goal is. So those of you who are new, we have three different areas you can look to to set your goals. So the first one we're going to talk about is relationships. So your relationships to your loved ones, your relationships to your kids, to your spouse, to your partner, to your friends, to your family, to your not as loved ones, your relationships to the people around you, your relationship to your community. Are there areas that you aren't really as satisfied as you think you should be in those areas? Well, that if you find that, if you feel that kind of um, friction between people, for example, that's a great place to start setting goals. Another area to look to is our health. So how do we treat our body? How is our body treating us? Our bodies are the vehicles that are going to carry us through throughout our lives. So if we're treating them with the love, respect, and passion that that our bodies deserve, then we're going to see a lot more out of our lives. So maybe you're, you're experiencing some health concerns. So maybe that's an area that you want to set a goal for yourself. And the final area is wealth. So that can be your career, your savings account, your income, your investments, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So are, are you feeling a little bit of apprehension in that area? Or are you feeling not as satisfied as you could be? Maybe you're sitting in a career that you absolutely uh, despise or you're not too in love with anymore. Maybe it's time for a change. And if that's you, today's episode and this week's challenge is definitely up your alley. Even though there are those three areas of our lives, the challenges I give you sometimes may sound like they're more focused in one area than another, but I encourage you to look at how you can incorporate these challenges into those three different areas of your life. So, (coughs) excuse me, today's challenge, or this week's challenge, is uh, to dress like your boss. (laughs) So sometimes the person that ends up getting promoted is a person that looks right for the job. Appearances, we know, probably shouldn't matter, and we say that they don't matter, but they clearly do. (laughs) And in many situations, we can't really get around that. So instead, try, uh, try not dressing like your peers for the week. Instead, I want you to try and take on the behavior and the attitude of your boss. I want you to step it up a notch. So... Take a note of your boss's regular style, general style around the office. What kind of pants or shirts or shoes do they wear? What, what are they doing to present themselves in that strata of the work environment? And yeah, of course, I'm going to get some objections here. What if my boss is a different gender than I am? What if they have a different style in general? Well, Fine. Look to the look to your boss's peers and see what the general feel is. I I used to work in an environment where um, we'd have some people who were incredibly casual, and some people who treated it like a fashion show, and some people who were incredibly dressed for C suite. Um, yet they were working at customer service level. So it it was kind of an interesting um, situation to to think of these this challenge. Uh, looking around the environment of like, okay, well, what is that person per- saying to the world by how they're dressing and how does that relate to the job that they do? Clearly, if your job is, say, forestry, you're not going to start dressing like uh, someone who's working in an office all day. You're going to be dressing relative to the job that you're doing, um, but look at the way that you're presenting yourself to the world. If you don't care about the way that you show up, that tells the world that you might not necessarily care about the job that you're doing. So show up, not only mentally and physically there, but show up in a way that other people see that about you. It's all about visibility hacking, my friends. (laughs) So that's it for this week's challenge. Here at the Breakthrough You podcast, we're all about baby steps, little things that you can do that you'll notice a huge change if you start to stack these challenges up. 
you don't necessarily have to do every challenge every week, but well, man, if you did, you would be in a completely different place in your life, in your health, your wealth, and your relationship goals in 52 weeks. It's that simple. So take on these challenges, my friends. I will see you again next week for next episode. And until then, remember, I love you and be excellent to each other.